So hi, uh, we're here at CS Presents. Um, the theme tonight is Can You Hack It? And we're on the couch again, of course. And uh, tonight, who is with us? Uh, my name's Emma Sexton. Um, I'm kind of here representing two hats. So one is my own design agency, Make Your Words Work, and we help companies to use design. And then the other is, she says, um, we're a global creative um, network for women. And uh, I started helping the co-founders, Laura and Ali, in 2007. So I'm kind of here with two, two hats today. I'm not a woman, clearly, but I do read uh, stuff on She Says. It's a, it's a great, great site you do. Yes, and we do monthly events and networking as well. So We'll put some notes in the, in the video thing for people to, to find that. So um, we're going to talk a bit about your, your career, and, and hopefully that will be inspiration or, or certainly uh, insights for other people who, who are looking to get ahead in their career in, in, in the creative industries. Um, what was your first creative role? My first creative role was a junior designer at a textile company and I took the role purely because they had Apple Mac computers and I knew when I was at uni you didn't, not every, they didn't have all the computers that they have now. Um, there was mainly PCs and there was about five Apple Macs and I knew I needed to use an Apple Mac to be a graphic designer so I took this job just to be able to learn on the Macs. A tactical decision. That's it was very tactical, yes it was, yeah. That's an interesting point though, right? You know, I just need a job, I'll take any job, or you were very clear about what you wanted to do, what you needed to do to move on, and you made that decision based on that. Yeah, very clear. I think I was always very focused. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew what I needed to get there, and I just worked really hard to try and get those skills, find out what I needed to do, talk to people. An obvious question, an obvious question perhaps, but is that key to success? I think... I think when you know where you're going or you have a little bit of a vision about where you'd like to be, it certainly helps you because then when opportunities come up, you know what decisions to make, which, you know, it just, it steers you. But it's not essential, but it's always worked really well for me. But yeah, I think if you know where you want to go, it's a bit easier to try and get there. And your career journey to get where you are today? Um, um, I'm going to try and wrap this up in a, in a, in a few questions really because I, I generally ask about promotions and how important are promotions but also career path. What, 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 what path have you taken to get to where you are today? Um, I think I've taken a slightly different path. I didn't go to university. I don't have a degree. So I very much learned on the job. And then I went back to uni in my late 20s and did an MA in design management because I knew that I wanted to excel my career and move that on. So I think my career hasn't necessarily followed a traditional approach. I very much... It's kind of zigzagged a bit, but it's always known where it was going. So, um, yeah, so I think that, you know, you can, you can get there however you like. Whatever works for you is, you know, just go for it. And, and are, prom are promotions important? Do you, you, know, do you have to fight for them or do you think your career development is all about the success you have in the work that you do? Yeah, I think you have to fight for promotions. I think a lot of people, especially women, make the mistake that they work very hard, but no one knows how hard they're working. They're not very good at promoting themselves internally, which stops you from being promoted. So I think that that, that can be a hindrance. My promotions have always been with job moves. I always found that moving jobs... I always took a job that was a step on from me, that was more of a challenge, a job that was out of my comfort zone. And I think that's the way that I've promoted myself in the past. And sometimes it's easier than going through an organisation because you go somewhere and then you can go in at the level you want to be rather than perhaps being in a company from being very young and then growing up in that company. And have your moves been as tactical as other aspects of your career? Yeah, absolutely. Every single move I've made has, has taken me a step closer to where I've wanted to go. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite focused and quite, quite driven in that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, tonight it's all women speaking. That's but it's... it's I'm not a woman, clearly, but you know, having that power, that drive, the, 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 the tactical decisions. Yeah, it's great to have an event with a, a for all women lineup, not talking about women's topics, because this is something that she says has been fighting for for a long time, is to see a change in the, um, the amount of speakers. Normally you get 80% men speaking, 20% women. So to have an all-girl lineup talking about a topic and some fantastic women speaking tonight is really good. It's start to feel like things are changing now, so it's great. And uh, just finally... Do you hire people in? Obviously, you run your own agency now, so you actually hire people, yeah? Yeah, I do. Well, actually, how my agency works is I work with a cooperative of freelancers. So they get financially rewarded for being a part of my business, for delivering great work for me, for helping me to grow clients. So they're part of my business, even though they're not necessarily employed as full-time employees. 
Um, so that works really well. And I work with a lot of kind of stay-at-home parents as well, so people who can't necessarily get back into the workplace want to work but do a by project. So they might work in the evenings or weekends. So um, it's a slightly different model that I've created. And how do people get noticed by you? And then when you're actually choosing someone, what do you look for? It's attitude. I think that anybody can learn how to be a great graphic designer or be, you know, there's lots of skills that you can learn, but what you can't, I don't think what comes so easily for people is, a, is an attitude, is a, an energy, an enthusiasm, that kind of magpie personality where you're just interested in lots of things and you want to learn. And I think you can't, that's naturally in people and that's what I look for because I think I can teach you I can teach you anything you need to know, but I can't teach you how to have a great attitude, how to be excited, how to be creative. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's that for me. And is it, do you look on a CV or does someone have to do something crazy to get noticed or is it just about their portfolio? I think you've got to, uh, the, the thing is today, I don't think it's any harder than it was when I was trying to find a job. There was too many people for too few jobs. And you have to understand that you, you have to get yourself noticed, you have to network. I got, I got my job from basically doing work experience. So I used to spend all my summer holidays doing work experience at different agencies in my hometown. So by the time I was ready to kind of find a job, I was already working people already knew about me and they'd always already experienced working with me so they knew they weren't taking a risk on me and I think that's the same now go in offer to make tea offer to just come in and sit and observe and you get to know people and then you find the jobs that aren't necessarily advertised so I don't think anything's changed you've got to you've got to be out there talking to people get yourself noticed brilliant I've loved your story it's just really clear that you have the passion have the drive there's, there's jobs out, out there. there. But, yeah. Totally. If you want it, you will find it. Because if you're creative, you'll look for any way, to, any way to get there, and you won't be defeated at the first hurdle, and you'll just keep working. It's a, it's a creative problem to solve. How you find your first job. Brilliant. Well, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us on the couch. Really appreciate no it. Oh, uh, got a blog or a Twitter account? Anything people yes, can you, you can follow me um, at Emma Sexton. So um, yeah, follow me on there, and then you can find links to she says and also to my agency from there as well too. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us on the couch. No problem, thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and share it with others. Source interview people from London's creative industry so you can learn from their experiences. To see more of our videos, subscribe to the channel now. And if there's someone you'd like to see interviewed, even yourself, then tweet us, put it in the comments or get in touch via email. Thanks again.